just going to do a short video today on the Transit called by Carrier. This is the power button here. These are your compartments. Um, if you turn it on, uh, just bear with it. It'll run through some self-tests. Um, you have two compartments usually. Compartment one, um, you can see the switch at the bottom, which is there. Off and on, off and on. And as you can see, obviously, compartment one, if it's off, tells you compartment one set at one degree. And it's eight degrees at the minute. If you hear that buzzing, that flickering, it's now just starting to start up. It's telling you the temperature's dropping. If it was narrow, it'd be increasing. Put compartment two on, like that. It's now telling you compartment two is at one degree and eight. So if you want to change, see so your settings, you lift the flap up there. Um, so say you press up, oh, four or five, four, let's say we set to three. Press enter and hold it, that's that one. You can then wait for compartment one to flash up if it's on. If not, turn compartment two off. Um, put compartment one back on. Um, as you can see, it'll change in a minute. If it doesn't then, turn that off and put compartment one on. Like that. And so one, two, three, and enter. Like that. Put that compartment back on. It's turn it off. But it'll fire back up again in a minute. Um, so that's pretty much as simple as it is for changing the temperatures. If you want to go to minus, obviously, you keep pressing down like that, and then this little minus sign comes up. So minus, let's say five, you press the enter button there, hold it, and that's set now to minus five. Okay, so it's quite straightforward. Road mode is when you're on the road, which is in now, you see on there. Say for instance, um, you want to silence the buzzer, that's that one. And if you're on an electrical supply, which is the socket on the outside, so you're hooked up to a bay and you want to connect it to the mains, press that there, press and hold it, shuts down and it won't work. So if you ever come to use the unit and it's got the picture of the plug on, it, there's no power it's saying at the minute because uh, it isn't plugged in. So that would then, if it was connected, run on the mains as opposed to using diesel from the diesel tank. Usually you'll have a separate diesel tank, a red tank. Sometimes the combine on this vehicle is combined. This is the classic system that you will generally use in a, a rigid vehicle. Um, generally two compartments. What that means is compartment one um, will be the front or zone one, um, will be the front blower, uh, which is in the back of the HGV. And at the back, you will also have, just set that one there, compartment um, two. That'll be the rear unit or zero, zone two. The reason for this, obviously, is you can set two, zero, two different zones, is you have a curtain, usually, that you can put down in the middle or wherever you want to position it. So you can have you frozen at the front or frozen at the back or chilled at the front and chilled at the back. So it's pretty much as straightforward as that. So if I press that off, that's it. There we go. Press road, there we go, so we say no part minute, and it'll fire up now into life. If you want to defrost the fridge manually, you press that, usually it'll do it automatically anyway. Like I said, buzzer there. Um, this one here means it's engine stop start. So if you press and hold that, when it gets to temperature, so that little circle there, it'll stop and start the engine to save as much fuel as possible. If you want to know what the faults are on the unit, you can just quite simply press the button there, which will come up with a load of old codes. So that's as straightforward as it is. I'll uh, show you some quick pictures in the back, um, which will obviously give you an idea of which compartment's which. So like I said, compartment one is the front of the unit, so the closest to the front of the cab. Um, a lot of the time that will be frozen stuff that you put in there because you've got a side door on a rigid HGV you can climb in through to get your frozen stuff out. And then obviously compartment two will be at the back. 